So Dawn didn't come till the last second to the last viewing period of her junior year, right? So two people hadn't watched her play. She had offers from everybody in the country, but Gino and Dawn had never watched her play. Mm -hmm. and, and we, you know, we don't know why or nor did it matter, right? So Chloe went through her process. And then when Dawn came, it wasn't a basketball thing. It's, a, you know, at the end of the day, it's a human thing. I mean, what right. Dawn brings to the table from the way that she treats these female athletes and the way that she's a role model and the way that she can market herself and, and care about community and all those important things. That was the piece that if you really, you know, take the basketball piece out of it, because I mean, we, we know that, I mean, basketball is kind of our, it's, it, you know, it's, it's all I really ever, ever even talk about. Like it's all I really know at the end of the day. And so we, we look at it at certain ways. And so when Dawn came, then yes, I had to go, you know, just communicate with people that, you know, I have behind our little circle and communicate with Chloe from that standpoint. Cause you know, she, she was pretty far in the process, right? Yeah, I mean, she of course. Play or AAU. She was, but it done. was different when Dawn showed up, like there was like a fire in her that I've never even seen. And I'm like, what is going on? She's like <laughs> down on people. She's like doing all these crazy moves. And I was like, what is going on? It was just like a fire and just like, I don't even know, lit underneath that rear end of hers. <clears throat> I looked over and my daughter is like giving me the elbow. And she's like the younger one. And she's like, Dawn Staley's here. And you could, uh -huh. just, you could just see it was just something different. 